Ty, you're part of the celebration 2019 as a freshman, and now you were one of the leaders this year. Compare the celebrations. It's, it's kind of better now since I, I know I was on the court, and I know I did something to help us get this win. But yeah, it feels, it feels good. So. What was it like watching then and then playing today? Okay. Ninth grade was scary. I, didn't want, I, I thought Coach Allison was going to put me in. I thought he was going to put me in. I didn't want to get in. I was just, it, crossed I was, mind, yeah. late, it crossed our mind late, late in the season because uh, Will Hill had a tendency to get in foul trouble, and it crossed our minds maybe because Will came in for Shamar the year before against Booker T at 18, and uh, he remembered that. He remembered me putting him in. Will hadn't played in the state tournament game all year, and I put him in because Shamar got in foul trouble. And we were thinking about getting Ty ready as a freshman. We told him that, and he was pretty honest and humble. I mean, he knew he was good, but he was like, I don't know if, he didn't need to call me like he called Will that one time as a ninth grader. But once he became a 10th grader, it was obvious that he was gonna be special. And he, he's arguably the best point guard to ever play for Memorial Basketball. Uh, I mean, Nero and Brandon Lord's kind of off the ball, but he's, he, this, this is a division one point guard, and I think, you know, him or Hubbard, that could be Coach State Players of the Year for what they've done this season and what he's done the last three years for Memorial. So this guy's been in charge since he was in fourth grade, and I love him so much, and I'm so glad that he earned this. And he did it with doing stuff that wasn't natural to him, uh, waking up early and lift, you know what I mean? And shoot, just he, he stepped outside his comfort zone for the team, and that's why we won the state championship.